unit 1 lecture number 4 so in this lecture we will discuss optimization of DFA based on the pattern matcher so we will discuss this topic with an example let us consider we want to optimize the following DFA and uh, this is the transition table of the DFA and uh, this is the uh, diagrammatical representation of this transition diagram and here you can see that here we have number of states q0 q0 q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 q6 q7 and the final state is q2 start state is q0 and the input uh, symbol is 0 and 1 so let us start how we can optimize it uh, use the following steps to minimize the automate this automata step 1 from the set q uh, set Q. What is set Q? Set Q is the set of all the states. Set of all states. What is set of all states? Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, and Q7. So this is Q. This is the set of all the states. What we need to do from the set Q make separate state of the final and intermediate state. So what we need to do? We need to separate the set of final state at in one set and set of intermediate state in another set. So here we have only one final state. That final state is Q0, Q2. And the non final state is Q0, Q1, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7. So these two uh, set we have here. Second step. Next, what we need to do from the set of intermediate state. So we need to concentrate on the intermediate state. We should check whether, uh, uh, so we should check which of the intermediate state are reaching to the final state uh, using either of the input either of the input either of the zero or either of the one so this state was divided into these two parts those two, sub, two subsets so q2 is the final state and non final intermediate state now we should consider q0 is not reaching direct to the final state q1 from q1 if we put one then we are reaching at the q2 this we can see from the transition table or from the diagram from q3 if we put zero if we are at state q3 and we put 0 input is 0 then we are reaching at the q2 q2 is the final state similarly from q5 if the input is 0 we are at final state q2 uh, from the q7 if we put 1 as a input then we reach at the final state so now we what we should do we should uh, uh, divide this intermediate state into two part one is which we are reaching to the final state and for the non final state so q1 q3 q5 q7 will come in one category and another category is q0 q4 and q6 in this way now the complete state is divided into three parts next third step from the in third step uh, what we need to do from the set of intermediate state so we, again we need to consider the intermediate state reaching to the final state distinguishes the states reaching to the final state using the same input it means that how many states are there that uh, reach to the final state from 0 and how many states are there that reach to the final state from 1 these two should be separated so here we can see that q3 and q5 reaches to the final state through 0 and q1 and q7 reaches to the final state through q uh, through 1 so this set can be divided so here you can see that uh, what we can do q1 we reach to the final state by q2 and uh, this one by q2 q3 through 0 and so on so what we need to do we need to divide the states like this q2 q1 q7 in one group because we reach to the final state through one q3 and q5 in another set why because we reach to the final state through zero and so on so next step in the next step what we need to do from the set of the intermediate states not reaching at the final state in one step we will decide any possible path to the final state and find k equivalent class of state so how we can do this so these sets are q0 q4 and q6 so from q0 we are reaching at q1 and q5 so we put this input value so we are at now the final state from the q0 to q2 and from the q4 we need to consider and q6 we need to consider 
so here you can q4 from q4 we are reaching the final state through q7 through q7 uh, we take q6 and from the q6 we reach at q6 and q4 q6 and q4 and so on q6 and q4 from q7 we are reaching at q1 on the input of 1 you can see the transition table from the transition table you can see this so once uh, this uh, diagram is or this uh, thing is uh, clear now what we can do we can find the k equivalent so to find the k, k equivalent what we need to do what we need to do what we need to do this we can see that this is two equivalent because two path is here so two is in two steps we are reaching at the q2 but uh, this is not uh, two equivalent because here there is nothing uh, uh, equivalent you can say that uh, the last one is the three equivalent and upper part is now we are not reaching at the final state so this must be separated so q6 must be in another set and q0 and q4 should be in another set so q0 q4 and q6 this set will be now divided into q0 q4 in one state one set of state and another we have q6 okay the steps we have the set of state q q1 to q7 so it was divided into two part final and non-final state and that non-final state was divided into two part and uh, that two part was reaching at the final state in one step and uh, reaching to the intermediate state that intermediate state was again divided into that reaching to the final state through 0 and 1 and uh, finally at the end it was divided in this way so now q2 will be treated as single state q1 q7 will be treated as single state q3 q5 will be treated as single state q0 q4 will be treated as single state and q6 will be treated as single state now let us uh, uh, try to uh, draw the transition table for the equivalent uh, DFA so new transition table for new transition table we take input 0 and 1 we have here and obviously Q0 Q4 will be the uh, start state because uh, Q0 is present in Q0 Q4 set so if we put 0 uh, as a input then if we put 0 as input in Q0 we are reaching at Q1 and if we put 0 in q4 state we are reaching at q7 so q1 q7 we have set here in case of uh, 1 if we have if we put uh, 0 sorry 1 as input in q0 we have q5 and for q5 again we have q5 and q5 is present in the set of q3 q5 so q3 q5 will be present here for the next one we have q1 q7 again this in same way q1 if we take q1 we are at q1 and giving input 0 as a input then we are reaching at q6 in similarly in q7 also we are reaching at q6 similarly for the input 1 if we are at q1 we reach at q2 if we are at q7 we reach at q2 so we take this one again for q3 q5 in case of q3 q5 it will be similarly it will be like this so final state is q2 so all these things can be understood clearly so you can do it for yourself so this is the transition table now this transition table using this transition table we can create the, our dfa so now we will create the optimized dfa we have equivalent uh, transition table here q0 q4 is treated as a q1 q7 is treated as b uh, q3 q5 is treated as c D, uh, q2 is treated as d and q6 is treated as e so according to this transition table we have now a is the initial state and uh, if we are giving at zero according to that transition table we can just create this part so d is the final state we are giving the corresponding input so the input a and finally from e So this is the this is the optimized DFA. Thank you so much.